Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're talking about Android O. So Google came out with a developer preview for this kind of out of nowhere. Um, you know, uh, they used to wait for their IO developer conference to do this. They don't anymore. They didn't last year at least. And um, obviously they haven't told us the name. That's, um, that's the other trend that they've been doing since uh, I believe Android L, which was 5.0. And um, honestly, I just don't find it that exciting anymore. You know, people like to guess what's the name going to be. Uh, the, you know, Vegas odds, not actual Vegas odds, but the <laughs> people seem to think it's going to be Oreo. I don't think so. You know, the only time we actually got a branded name was Kit Kat. And I got the feeling that that's something they don't want to do again. So anyway, I flashed this on a Nexus 5X. The um, You can't get an over-the-air update just yet. Uh, it's not available in the Android beta program. Um, I put a tutorial on NeoWin. I'll link to it in the description. If you want to flash it, you can. Um, you're not going to get it in the beta program until probably May. But if you decide to flash this, remember this now, and it's important. Remove the device from the beta program, because if you don't, the first thing you'll get as soon as you flash is an OTA to install Android 7.1.2. And when you try to install that, it won't even take you back to 7.1.2. It'll just give you an error, and then it'll keep trying to install it. So... Just unenroll your device. So um, the first thing you'll notice, obviously, is the new wallpaper. That's uh, what comes pre-installed here. All right. So Android isn't like iOS or Windows in that they put new features in apps in a feature update. It just doesn't work that way. Like where, you know, if you have an iPhone, you get an update. There's new features in Messages, new features in Safari. Um, doesn't work like that here. And... A lot of that has to do with um, the fact that so few Android devices are on the latest version, right? 2.8% are on Nougat, 0.4% are on 7.1. So these apps are usually updated independently, and Google Play Services is updated. And so everybody get pretty much gets those updates. So what we do get is we do get um, some new changes in notifications up here that we'll look at. And we also have a brand new settings app, which as you can see, the gray icon is gone in favor of a white icon that you can barely see. Now, again, this is an early developer preview. We won't even see developer preview two until mid-May. So anything could change. I think that icon's going to change because it's terrible. If, if you, In my opinion, it's terrible. All right, so... We have an all new settings app. Everything is different. You used to go to the bottom and you'd see about phone, right? So now... um. Now we see system here, which is if we want to go in there. Um, and then we, we get a about phone. And if we go to the build number, if we want to turn on developer settings, right now we have to type in a pattern, which you didn't have to do before. All right. And um, system UI tuner, there's some, uh, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Right. If you're if you're familiar with System UI tuner, tuner as you might have seen from that uh, from that message, it's not for everybody, but it does give you extra customization options over the um, over the UI. But this is something that's been there before. There are um, there are a few more more options in there. So um, if we went to layout here, went to left lean, you can see we move the uh, navigation buttons here. We're going to keep, and if we had compact, we could put that in the middle, but no, we're going to keep it as normal. All right. Um, if we went to um, navigation bar, all right, extra left button type, we could do keyboard switcher, extra right button type, um, say clipboard, right? So, so we can, we can mess with this stuff. I don't, uh. Key code. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm messing with this up too much that I really don't want to do. Um, we also have the ability to change the lock screen shortcuts. Right, so um, usually by default, it would be um, uh, camera and voice search. So now we can change this and uh, we can launch settings. Plenty of options here. Um, yeah, plenty of options there. And then we can do the same thing with the right shortcut, okay? And um, so here's the thing about this, right? Like I said, everything is subject to change. Uh, system UI Tuner especially is subject to change. 
This is something that we've seen in plenty of earlier developer previews. They add a lot of stuff in the system UI tuner, and it just goes away. So don't get too attached to this stuff. It is cool. System UI tuner is always very fun to play with because you can change a lot of cool stuff in there just how you like it. But just keep that in mind that those options might not be there in Q3 when this thing launches to the public. So we have some changes over how uh, notifications work as well. Um, we can switch this over and we can set that it snooze for 15 minutes or we can set it to 30 minutes or one hour or don't snooze, which we don't want to snooze right now. We can also um, go into settings here, more settings, and um, this will take us to our app notification settings. All right, so um, that's... Uh, Basically, it for notification changes right now. There's um, this is a big thing that they that they're trying to do is uh notification channels, which um gives you more control over uh what types of notifications you see. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff there. Also, um, the ambient display is a bit different now. So if we can just kind of get this thing to come on. We can see right here that we get an icon now rather than um rather than the the actual bigger icons that we got before. So the ambient display gets a little uh simpler. Um a little obviously uh yeah, just simpler, less complicated um and a little cleaner is the word I was looking for. All right. So um I mean that's about it for now. We can just take a, a quick look around. Here's our, our quick uh, settings. We can see it says Android Beta here. It doesn't say Android O. It just, uh, that's all we got right there. By the way, to turn on those system UI tuner uh, settings, you would go to this setting icon right here and just hold it until, uh, no, we don't want to get rid of it. Are you crazy? I was just trying to do a demo. It's supposed to be a smartphone. Jeez. Anyway, moving on. Um, we can see it says uh, uh, Android O in Android version. Um, this is not surprising. It's not going to say Android 8 until, uh, you know, later on in the development cycle. But, I mean, at this point, obviously it's going to be Android 8. I'm sure there's going to be some story in two or three months about how some documentation was found from some company's new phone about how Android O is really Android 8, and now it's confirmed. Like, it's kind of obvious that, that this is what they're doing now. Um, the last named version of Android they had that wasn't a major update version was KitKat, which was 4.4. And then we had Lollipop, which was 5, and Marshmallow, which was 6, and Nougat, which was 7. So, I mean, on the yearly development cycle thing that they're finally getting around to, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, so we can just kind of browse around a little bit because, like I said, um, a lot of this is new. It's uh, Google settings have been moved all the way to the bottom for some reason. Um, and, oh, the support settings, by the way, that was um, previously that was in the main, that was a different tab in the settings app. So that's now it's its own, um, its own top level setting. All right. Um apps and storage right not a not a whole lot of general design changes here um, but a lot of it looks pretty cool and like i said you don't really see a lot of changes in the apps like you're not seeing anything new in the messaging app or the phone app or chrome because those apps are updated independently and if they do get new features the good news is that if you don't get android O right away on your device which very few existing devices will um you'll still get those new features. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Um, hopefully there'll be enough in the next developer preview that I could make another video. And um, until then, I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.